Okay, this is an update on the ShoreEye battery that I was working on last winter time when uh, I was in the middle of testing batteries. I was comparing the ShoreEye battery to the Uasa battery. By the time they sent me the replacement ShoreEye battery, the weather had already warmed up so I couldn't do any more cold weather testing and I don't have the kind of equipment like some battery testers do to be able to test it so I've just got to go by real world conditions. If you do want to see go to a link I will post below. This is Joel Wisman or Joel Weisman. I forget which way he pronounces his name. Well, I'm not aware of which way he pronounces his name. It's W-I-S-M-A-N. He has got an excellent testing rig. Probably cost about as much as some people paid for their motorcycles to test batteries. So I'm going by his information. But if you want to see him testing Shorai batteries and comparing it to Uasa and some other band, brands of batteries, um, go to his website and take a look at that link in the video that he does with the battery test. But anyway, this is what I am doing meanwhile. This is the battery replacement they gave me right here. And um, customer service, I would have to give them five stars for customer service. They sent me a replacement battery. Um, I told them I didn't want to uh, spend extra because I just bought a Yuasa battery, so they deducted that price. So basically, I got this battery for half price. This is a LFX14A5-BS12. Now what I am doing with the battery right now is I'm using it to power this air compressor. I use it to pump up air in the tires to the cars and to the motorcycles and to the bicycles so it gets used constantly. What I originally was going to do at one time before I came up with this plan, I went to Amazon and I bought this 110 volt to 12 volt converter, 70 watts supposedly enough to power my air compressor but it wasn't I mean it's either the power supply is underpowered or the rating is uh, not matching with the air compressor because the air compressor just kinda made a whining noise when I tried to use it so it didn't have enough guts but this thing right here I have been using it constantly and I used it for a period of almost three months from uh, middle of January February, March, maybe even close to four months, and then what I did was I took it in, checked the voltage on it, it was down to, I think, about 12.1 volts. Uh, according to, I contacted ShoreEye, and according to them, you don't necessarily have to use their charger, but if you use any other type of charger, what I bought myself was a one amp Schumacher charger. They say charge it at one amp, no more and watch the voltage and monitor it and you have to monitor the voltage closely you have to charge it until it reaches a voltage of 14.4 volts which I did and I'm warning you if you do that get a very good quality meter such as a fluke meter I have a good quality digital meter and watch it like a hawk now the first two hours it charged very slowly but the last 20 minutes it jumped from like 13.8 to 14.4 so make sure you do monitor it very closely it was sitting right beside me while I was working on another project but watch the voltage. So I've been consistently doing that. I will continue using it and then what will happen when I get cold enough temperatures again I will actually put it to the test. I will this is the bike right here that it was in. I will take the Yuasa battery out of it. I will give it the same kind of tests I did last time. I will do uh, last time what I did for a basic test was I didn't turn on the choke. It was the mid 20s. I think it was 23 to 25 degrees out. I cranked it for three times for about 20 seconds. Then I put the choke on and then saw if it would actually fire up the bike. That's what I expect out of Yuasa battery. And when I retest the Shari battery, that's what I'm going to expect out of it. Plus, by that time, it'll be a year old, so it will have been used, but it will be taken care of. It's not like I will just have left it on the shelf for a year. It's going to be used as my power supply and as it gets low it's going to be continually recharged so it's going to be kept in what I consider good condition up to the test so um, the final test will probably be coming you know in a little bit of time maybe in December or so when I actually get cold enough temperatures to do that but anyway because uh, someone did go on my shore eye video and ask why I did not post any updates or what the status is right now um, this is the answer to that question I was surprised I didn't get a lot more people asking, so yeah, part, partly my fault. I got kind of lazy about it and didn't give any updates, so I will give another update when the weather gets cold enough and I get a chance to do my tests.